welcome back to the guest house. My name is Sharon. I'm still Barry. <laughs> As always, we're so glad to have you here. So we put in shelves in our short closet, and I'll show you that in a second. And we tried to do something like cheap and quick, and <laughs> it didn't really work the way we were supposed to. We were so excited about it, and it didn't quite work. So what are we going to do now? We're going to do a better way. I thought of a better solution. This guy's always thinking of better solutions. You always got to think out of the box. I know. <laughs> And the one thing that our one motto is, no new holes. No new holes. I think we've done so far so good. We've done pretty well with no new holes. A couple of accidental ones, but... So this is the solution that I originally came up with. It's really just a little alpha bathroom size um, shelf. And it has sliding doors. And I put this little bungee here so that it that when we're traveling it doesn't the drawers don't slide out and hit and i would pile stuff up on this and i would put things on these hooks and we never really used um this rod at all and uh so pretty much excess stuff just got shoved in here and then whenever i needed to get something out i had to pull out all kinds of things to find what i was looking for uh turns out that was a real pain so here is the first set of tension rods. The reason that we're using four tension rods for each shelf is because we're using a very thin Luon as the shelving material. Uh, it's very lightweight. Uh, it's really easy to, to cut and um, uh, drop in here. And the four tension rods will help prevent that from sagging. Okay, first cut done. Live video. I haven't tried it yet. Trust me, I haven't. Let's see if I can put it in and see if it fits. Wait, aren't you supposed to cut, measure twice, cut once? Oh, oh I don't know. Crap. What did you do? I just measured <laughs> once and said, F it. Why does my measurement seem off? The curved back of the chair. Wait, hold on. There. Well, gosh darn it. Let's do it this way. <laughs> Look at, wait, is that a tight fit? That is a pretty Holy tight fit. Oh my God, if that were any tighter, I'd have to be impressed. <laughs> One of the bars fell up. Oh wow, that's pretty. Hey, that's pretty good. Dun, dun, dun. See, I told you I had potential. You do. Look at no, you. That's, that's pretty solid. Yeah, baby. All right. <laughs> One more. Okay. Boy, look at Sunay got this big. So let's get started. What's the first thing that you did? Um, I'm measuring the height of the, we're putting it in two different shelves, and I'm just mm -hmm. measuring the height, and I'm putting just a little mark mm -hmm. so I know where to put the L so, bracket. Is that what you want, want? Yeah, I think right it's here. like a little piece of, it's a piece of corner trim. Right there. See, just. And the, this is kind of clever. So the idea is that the, Put this side on the wall, and then the other side will hold the shelf. Yeah. And we'll do we'll do a few of those. So oh, and we got some tape. It looks like VHB tape, but it's not. This stuff will come off. It's double sided. It holds up to thirty pounds. Thirty pounds. More than enough for some clothes. Right. And uh, what we're putting in the closet on these shelves is not heavy. No. It just takes up space. So it's like towels and. Underwear. Various whatnot. No underwear. Oh, no, yeah. Various clothes go elsewhere. Anyway, so, hey, let's get started. This is going to be quick. Yes. Uh, Stretch. Uh, it's a good thing you're tall and have long arms. Dang it. Yeah, sure. So you can see this closet is really just a big blank. It had a hanging rod, and um, we don't hang anything in it. It's a short little closet that's over my bed. And... Um, I just really thought that shelves would be a better use of the space. Yeah, especially with this arch. I feel um, like Airstream kinda... should have put shelves in there in the first place. Well, call me Mr. Airstream then, because I'm putting shelves in. <laughs> Fantastic. So we got some Luon, really thin stuff from Home Depot. We've had this actually for a couple of years. We made a Kool-Aid stand out of it one year. Yeah, we did. We got a bunch of this left. So this is rigid enough uh -huh. to hold it. And then yep. again... We already showed you this, the uh, L bracket. It's, if it was metal, it'd be called angle iron. It would be, but this is for, it's like corner trim. So you can put on the corner of a yeah. 
of, of your protect walls it, like that it, yeah. uh, to protect the walls. So I've gone ahead and I've pre-cut everything because that would be kind of boring for you guys to watch. <laughs> yeah. And besides, my basement looks really nasty down there. Yeah, that's one of our there. winter projects, right? Is to clean up the basement. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> see how that goes so here we are so we've got all of these various little pieces of corner uh, bracket and then the pieces of luan for the shelves and the next thing now that you've measured so the next thing that you want to do is yeah so what i'm gonna do is is this tape is exactly well this tape is like the same width maybe a 16th wider who cares so i'm gonna put a, a strip of the tape on here mm-hmm uh -huh. I'm going to push it against the wall on mm -hmm. both sides. And I don't think we'll need to put tape on this because it can't go anywhere. I don't think so but either. We're going to try that. Yeah, I think it should be able to just set the shelf right on it, I right? I believe so, yeah. All right. Scissors. Sometimes I like, like to make things more difficult than they actually yeah, are. Yeah, I totally appreciate that. Okay. So again, I marked up. Uh, two different spots so I know where to place this because it's sticky and once you put it on I mean I guess it's removable however maybe you only get it right the first time so now if this works out right I have this at the height of this box yeah so instead of putting one there i just it's gonna lay on here yes yeah. it's not moving at all this all is right. good tape fantastic all right so now i don't remember which shelf was for which oof because they're different sizes i think this is the one the bigger Let's one is it. on the bottom right yeah right. oh this is like a puzzle oh my gosh Tight. It's a tight fit. Don't try this at home, kids. That's pretty solid. Oh my god, this is pretty good. All Here right, we we're half done. <laughs> I think that's a good shelf. Yeah. All right. So this is a quick project. Um, I don't know how much it costs. The ro we, so if you go to like a Home Depot and you look at this double-sided like the Gorilla Tape, it's like nine dollars for sixty inches. So we ended up getting a big roll of it, which was four hundred inches. But this is three M, right? It's three M. It's a different brand, but it does the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. it, they're competitors. Yeah. Um, and it was twenty-one dollars, and so now we got a lot of extra for other projects because yeah. who doesn't need double-sided tape? Yep. In their house or RV. You never know when you're going to need double-sided mounting tape. Right. <laughs> you might have an RV project where oh, you want sure to mount permanently something like oh, oh, shelving. This is what I really dislike about double-sided tape is trying to get the oh, edge Finding off. the edge. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. 20 minutes later. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Come on. Oh. There it goes. Come on, you can do it. No. No. Damn. It's the pressure that the camera's on me. I'm, I feel like I'm under a lot of pressure. Well, gosh. I feel like I just heard a... <gasps> what? heard a Queen song for a second there. That's under kind of a pressure. comment to make. Under pressure. Oh, pressure down on me okay you crazy you cray cray maybe oh come on oh and again a whole lot of silence here do something like ah <laughs> maybe a little scream like a guttural like scream will help get it out okay I don't believe you. <laughs> the good thing about this is when we go to sell it to upgrade to a bigger Airstream, because we're going to do that. We can take all this stuff out, all this stuff that we've done, all these modifications. If you've watched all of our videos, 
we can put everything back to the original and it'll be factory and nobody will know any difference. All right. So things like this will say, do you, here's the rod that, you know, the hanging rod that came with it. Do you want us to take out the shelves? And if they do, we take out the shelves and we put the hanging rod. Oh, back. and as most people know, when you're buying stuff for an Airstream or any RV, you're buying a lot of stuff. So most of the stuff like the WeBoost, uh, there's so many other things that we've done here that we'll be able to take with us and not repurchase. Yeah. All right, a uh, finished product. Look at that, two shelves. That's pretty great. It's done. Hey, pretty happy. So. So a lot more functional space. If you look, I mean, they're all kind of evenly spaced mm -hmm. pretty much, but this like is huge. Shirts, socks. You have no idea what's going in this closet, do you? No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so again, this is, I'm not concerned. The first attempt that we made with the rods, the pressure, the tension the rods. Tension rods, yeah. Would not hold. This, I don't have any doubts. No, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. So. So now what? We're done. So. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy. This closet is going to work so much better for us now. Um, I have stuff to store in here that was just not hanging storage. And uh, it'll be a lot better. And um, this is uh, great. I hope this helped. If you have some really great closet solutions, do let us know. Put a comment below. Below. Hey, but let me grab the camera and show you guys something. Because this is funny to see. That she is standing on... A one foot step stool so she can be at my height. <laughs> I'm not an entire foot shorter than you because you notice I'm taller than you. You're standing up for yeah, once. Okay. All right. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, subscribe. Please. This guy would like that. It would make him really happy. He would be happy for like an entire day. If he saw that you subscribed. Mm, the things I go through. <laughs> and as always. Thanks for being our guest. Yeah. Thanks, guys. See you guys. See you next time.